He went to Paris looking for answers to questions that bothered him so. He was impressive, young and aggressive, saving the world on his own. Warm summer breezes and French wines and cheeses put his ambitions at bay. Summers and winters scattered like splinters and four or five years slipped away. He went to England, played the piano, and married an actress named Kim. They had a fine life, she was a good wife, bore him a young son named Jim. And all of the answers to all of the questions, locked in his attic one day. He liked the quiet. Living and twenty more years lived away. Well, the war took his baby, moms killed his lady, and left him with only one eye. His body was battered, his whole world was shattered, and all he could do was just cry. While the tears were falling, he was recalling the answers that he never found. So he hopped on a freighter, skidded the ocean, and left England without a sound. Now he lives on the islands, fishes the pylons, drinks his green label each day. He's writing his memoirs, losing his hearing, but he don't care what most people say. Through 86 years of perpetual motion, if he likes you, he'll smile and he'll say, bless some of its magic, some of its tragic, but I had a good time all the way. He went to Paris, looking for answers for questions that bothered him so.